Surely all praises are due to Allah. We praise Him and seek His assistance and ask for His forgiveness. And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves and the wickedness of our deeds. Verily, whomever Allah guides, there is none to lead him astray. And whomever Allah allows to go astray, there is none to guide him back except Allah. And I bear witness that there is no God except Allah, and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is his messenger. Our topic today is about three deeds that erase the rewards of good deeds and that bring Allah's punishment. These deeds are hating the faith and despising its teachings, hypocrisy, and obstructing people from doing good deeds. Erasing the rewards of good deeds comes in different forms. The first is when actions and deeds are purely worldly that do not help a person on the day of judgment. As Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Furqan, verse 23, Allah says, and we will proceed to whatever deeds that they did and will turn them into scattered dust. The second actions, the second is actions for the hereafter, but the intentions were for, for worldly gains. And the third type is deeds for the hereafter, but are overwhelmed with sins that a person committed, committed that overtakes the good deeds. With respect to hating the faith and despising the teachings of the faith, they have two sources. The first is objecting to practicing the obligations of the faith because of perceived hardships that halt people from performing them. The second is perceived ease out of ignorance that leads people to think that they are not properly performing their worships, leading people to seek hardships in their worship. The second type is what the extremists practice. Both types lead to erasing the rewards from good deeds, for good deeds. Allah revealed in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Verse 5, whoever rejects faith, his effort will go to waste, and in the hereafter, he will be among the losers. Another form that leads to erasing and squandering good deeds is disobeying the teachings of the faith and, and despising them because a person thinks that religious practices are not suitable for the so-called so civilized societies or because a person does not like them faith and belief is only attained by submitting to what Allah has ordained and a person that does not submit then he is a disbeliever that wastes his actions and does not get rewarded and becomes a loser in the hereafter which is was which was affirmed in the verse, whoever rejects the faith, his effort will go to waste, and in the hereafter, he will be among the losers. This verse was revealed to illustrate divine rules about dealing with people of the book. But some people had objections or discomfort. So the verse cautioned people from objecting Allah's words because it will lead to disbelief and wasting the rewards of their good deeds. Allah revealed in Surah Muhammad, verse 9, Allah says, that is because they hate what Allah has sent down, therefore Allah has, nu has nullified their deeds. In another verse, Allah confirmed that anybody that disobeys Allah and his prophet will lose the rewards of their deeds. Allah revealed in Surah Muhammad, Verse 30, 32, 
those who disbelieve and prevent others from Allah's way and oppose the messenger after the guidance has appeared to them clearly shall never bring harm to Allah in the least and he will render their deeds vain. Dear brothers and sisters, with respect to hypocrisy, it is the second deed that leads to erasing the rewards of good deeds. Because the actions of hypocrites are not done for the sake of Allah. So on the day of judgment, the hypocrite does not find any reward for his deeds. Allah revealed in Surah Hud, verses 15 and 16, those who seek the worldly life and its glitter, we will fully recompense them herein for their deeds. And in, the, and in it, they will not be wronged. Those are the people for whom there is nothing for them in the hereafter except fire. All that they contrive here is vain, and all that they are want, they, they are want to do is fruitless. Their actions were for the sake of others that they wanted to please and expected to be rewarded by them. So they were punished for their corrupt intentions. So people need to be cautioned that the basis for the acceptance of actions and getting rewarded for it is sincerity. So we need to work hard for the hereafter with sincerity. Dear brothers and sisters, the third of these actions refer to people that hate good and despise good that others do. So they work hard to ob obstruct others from doing good deeds and try to sway them from doing anything good, even if they want to strive against their own evil self-inclinations or if they want to spend for the cause of Allah or even to follow the sunnah. Those ob obstructionists are closer to being disbelievers than to being believers. And they squandered their rewards because of their actions. Allah revealed in Surah Al-Ahzab, verses 17 and 18, Verily, Allah knows the ones from among you that hinder others and those who say to their brothers, Come along with us, but come not to, fight, to the fight except for just a little while, being miserly towards you. Then, when fear comes, you will see them looking to you, their eyes revolving like those who death hovers over them. But when the fear departs, they will smite you with sharp tongues, miserly towards good. Such men have no faith. Therefore, Allah makes their deeds fruitless, and that is ever easy for Allah. So these verses describe the ones that obstruct and hinder others from doing good, from, from giving for the sake of Allah, from their own wealth, as covetous and misers, because they are jealous of the ones that are working for their hereafter. So Allah punished them by erasing their rewards. This, these verses stress the meanings that were presented in Surah Muhammad, verse 28. Allah says, that is because they followed that which angered Allah and hated that which, is, which pleased him. So he made their deeds fruitless. Dear brothers and sisters, one of the fundamentals of the faith is obeying Allah and doing good to others. Maintaining these actions until a person dies is one of the principles of our faith. So what is obligatory on us is to do good deeds, even if they are very minor and not to belittle them. And to avoid every little sin and not to belittle them because we do not, we do not know what sin will lead us to Allah's anger and punishment and we do not know which goodness will lead, will lead us to Allah's pleasures and his rewards. Assalamu alaikum.
Все, помоха. الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات وشروا لا اله الا الله قيوم الارض والسماوات